So we have ITF plus, right? That will let you know where you want to go. No, thanks. Uh, but then we can go into the core skills certifications. And so at this point, we're really looking at um, you know, the basics. In fact, the first job role certification we have is A plus. And A plus covers nine months of knowledge, skills, and abilities and tasks in someone's IT career. People typically go into help desk jobs because they're available and they're a great place to start. It's an excellent learning place because you're going to be talking to customers all the time. You're going to learn all the little ins and outs of working, you know, essentially with devices and supporting people. So you're going to be supporting people and devices on a network. And this is a lower level skill, but it's really how do you support all the devices that are hooked up to the network? Help desk, support desk is what this is covering. Then you get to an 18 month point. At that point, many are ready to learn the network administration skills. This is how a network works. The, uh, you know, what is TCP IP? What is the TCP IP suite? You know, what are the seven layers of the OSI reference model? And you need to know what's occurring at each one of those because the TCP IP suite and that stack is maybe ultimately what the hackers are manipulating. Um, you know, many cases just by manipulating the packets using uh, packet conditioners uh, for one example. Um, but if you understand the TCIP stack and OSIR, OSIRM and how everything's supposed to work, then you're like, boom, there's a spoof. Boom, there's somebody duping my MAC address. Boom, there's somebody that's, you know, clouding up my IP header. Boom, there's somebody who's, you know, flat, switched a flag in one of my packets. Um, and there's, you know, they're they're hijacking the session. I mean, it's like you learn the encyclopedia of the Internet. You learn how everything works. If you have networking fundamentals down, you can do anything, software, IT, uh, you know, uh, cybersecurity. Uh, you can go into infrastructure because you understand the plate on which the internet sits. Very helpful and I can't um, emphasize that enough. Um, then you get to the two-year level. Then you begin to learn some cybersecurity skills. Notice cybersecurity skills are not the first skills you learn in IT. You need to learn the basics of IT before you learn cybersecurity. Many people will say, you can't secure a network unless you know how the network works. And so that is why when you get to Security Plus at this two-year level, so all of you out there right now, if you're thinking about taking Security Plus, you've got to make sure you understand networking basics, networking fundamentals. So make sure that's something in your in your education <laughs> as you proceed in, in networking, or I, I should say in cybersecurity, in IT, I'm talking very broad. You need to learn a little bit more how the engine works before you start speeding off on the internet. All right, and then after Security Plus, then we're at the two-year level. This is where I was saying you could then advance into uh, intermediate and advanced level jobs. So at this point, you're ready to go with security plus like where you're you you're on the diving board you're on the springboard where do you want to bounce to at this point many people will say i want to go into cybersecurity and so they will then go into a red team blue team which is pen test plus which is attacking systems legally to find the vulnerabilities in them before the enemies find them for you <laughs> Then CYSA plus, which is security analyst. This is blue team. This is defense. Both of these are at the three to four year level. And these are skills that go beyond security plus and will often find, you know, pen testers are the attackers. Security analysts and CYSA plus are the defenders. So the security analysts are usually in a security operation center using tools, behavioral analytic tools to try to find the attacks that come in from the pen testers, who are basically legal hackers. That's at the three to four year level. Then we can go to the advanced level in cybersecurity. When we get to the advanced level, we're talking like five years plus of knowledge, skills, abilities, and tasks. And at this level is when we're gonna see people like security architects and security engineers. There's probably a lot of you that security engineers, that is a super exciting job. 
for the uh, ultimate for the kinesthetic hands-on learners. I mean, I don't think that is probably one of the coolest jobs in, in cybersecurity uh, for, for me, for my opinion, um, is a security engineer probably gives you the most differences in your day and the most excitement, but that's just my personal opinion and great variety from year to year in your job. Um, so CAS Plus, security engineer, security architect, digital forensics analyst. Forensics is becoming bigger and bigger. CAS Plus is covering that. Then you also have um, network enterprise architecture. So you in, in, in CAS Plus at this point, you are able to be hired by an organization to find problems with the entire organizational security, cybersecurity, and fix it. And that requires a big brain and a lot of experience. So CAS Plus is really a capstone course for those of you that have been out there working for five plus years. I'd recommend, you know, if you're on the cyber, if you're on the certification track right now to get training, I'd go up Security Plus, do Pen Test Plus, SISA Plus, then get some experience and then come back and take CAS Plus. Um, regarding CAS Plus, it's becoming extremely popular right now. We have, um, it's just become one of the top 10 highest paying certifications in the IT industry. That's incredible, that was just last month. Um, and we're seeing it really move out beyond the Department of Defense who's, who's been using the certification for eight years. Um, and we're seeing it being adopted by corporations because now corporations are aware of it. Um, because of the wonders that it's done within the Department of Defense. So we're really happy about that. And I just wanted to share that good news with you.